Hello everyone, OSU Harding 1 with a demonstration of how I have incorporated power functions into the LEGO Technic Extreme Cruiser model 8081. If you're interested, I have a high definition stop motion video of the initial construction of this model, so check that out too. I chose this LEGO Technic set because it was a basic open design just right for power functions. So, after I built it, I made this model fully motorized with remote control. I used a battery box, two M motors, one IR receiver, and one remote. Now I watched several other videos on YouTube where people have motorized this model and I think mine is unique for a f in a few ways. First, I kept the fake engine. A lot of other people removed the fake engine and that's where they put the drive motor. What I did actually is I kept the fake engine and I actually added a cylinder. You'll see that here. So it was originally a four cylinder design and it is now a six cylinder design. So I thought that was, uh, that was a challenge to get that in there but uh, it's in there and it's still fully motorized and I was able to get everything in there and work. So that's uh, kind of a unique way of the way I've done it. Um, let's see as a result of adding this uh, six cylinder, in, the, um, the overall length of the model is about one inch longer. Um, however, I was able to keep all the same parts, uh, the same front fascia here, the hood and everything is, is all the same pieces that originally came with the kit. So that was a little bit of a challenge too, but I was able to do it. Let's see, um, I also maintained the, the same mirror, uh, steering mechanism. I did not I did not have to change any of the steering up front or the suspension or anything. So all that that was in the original kit I kept. And again, because I added that uh, extra cylinder, I did not have to modify any of that. That is all exactly the way the instructions uh, detailed on how to be built. Let's see. The uh, Also another feature that I uh, built into this is I, I, I watched several other videos. I did incorporate the lights here too. You'll see the, the lights uh, are on here. Um, but some of the other, I've watched several other videos on YouTube where people have tried to demonstrate their return to center steering. So uh, my model has return to center steering here on its own. I'll show you the underside. I was actually able to, to uh, do the return to center steering modification back between the seats so I didn't have to do anything up in the front so that was kind of a challenge and a neat way to incorporate that. Um, let's see what else we got here. So just real quick of where I've got everything. Um, Again, the six-cylinder engine. Uh, one of the things that I had to change is originally this was a red piece. I actually needed to use those pieces elsewhere to get some of my motors and stuff mounted. So these are actually some orange pieces from another kit that I had stolen. So incorporated there. Otherwise, it would have just been a black hood. So in keeping with the uh, the red stripe across the top, I, I incorporated those in there to keep that look the same. So anyway, we'll start back here in the back. Um, the battery box is just mounted flat. Uh, one of the things that I had to change was there was originally a license plate back here that used a, a traditional brick and that brick took up a lot of space uh, and it did not allow me to mount the battery box flat so I removed that and just put a regular, regular Technic beam in there and that allowed me to mount the, uh, the battery box flat. You can see the IR receiver here. Now one of the things that I did is I wanted everything to look aesthetically pleasing so I used the appropriate spacers and bushings and stuff and everything to get this thing mounted directly center line so it is center line with the, the whole uh, car or truck whatever you want to call it and it sits perfectly flat on top of the battery box. I don't know if you can see it here but the steering motor is right here it is mounted horizontally uh, let's see if we can open the door here and you can see it in there. But it is back in there, kind of in between the two front seats, but it is mounted horizontal. So it is actually using the original yellow knob gears to drive the steering. And you can see the M motor here, which is between the two seats. 
that's my actual drive motor. So, and uh, again, all the seats are still in there. Everything that was originally part of this model is still included in this model. I did not have to remove anything in order to incorporate these power functions. And again, I did all that, and I added an extra cylinder. So you can see here with the drive, the, uh, the pistons move, the wheels move. So in this return to center steering, all right, let me get my hand out of the way. Now I will do a separate video on how I incorporated the return to center. I think a lot of the things that some of the other folks have done is a lot more complicated than what I have done. But uh, as you can see here, she's fully remote. Return to steer. So it is. Uh, it was a challenge. It was. Uh, it was a lot of fun. But at the same time, this was a really good model to do it on. There's a lot of free space and a lot of uh, a lot of flexibility on how you can do this. So anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, this modification, and uh, I'd like to hear from you. Thanks.